Here are the top five things I wouldn't do after being a realtor for 16 years when selling my home. Number one, I would not just hire the first agent I met or a friend without doing more research and interviewing other agents. Every agent has a different marketing plan and some agents don't have one at all. Also, an agent's negotiation skills and knowledge can make a huge impact on the final sale price of your home. Number two, not getting my house properly ready for sale. Little things like paint, curb appeal, cleaning windows, and small updates can make a huge difference and impact on whether you get offers and what the offers are. It's also how the buyer judges how you take care of your home. Number three, not having a stager in. So even if you don't need a full stage, just having the consultation to have the stager in and make small suggestions that don't cost you any money for how you can move furniture around or things that can come up or down will really help with a buyer envisioning themselves living within your home and also helps the house show amazing online, which is a buyer's first step in deciding if they will come to view your home. Number four, not getting all the different types of marketing media. There are different reasons for eye guides, for pictures, for video, for reels, and why we use each of them and which one should be used where. Social media is a huge marketing resource for your home and social media's algorithms like video, for example. If you post a link to an eye guide, these platforms will bury, it, bury that. Did you know that you can't boost a reel on Instagram that's over 90 seconds? All of these things are important in getting top dollar for your home. Number five, list a little high to leave room for negotiations. This doesn't work, guys. Houses still sell for an average of 97% of asking price in Oxford County. What happens when you list your house high is buyers won't even come to see the property. Buyers are educated now. They have an idea of what they can get in the price range. And if they see you're asking too much, they'll say there's no point in going because I'm not going to pay that for the house. The house will sit on the market. It will go stale. And the longer it sits, the more lowball offers you're likely to get. In most cases, you will get more for the house if you price it properly in the first place. 